Hello, this is Lebo Severs. I'm working on my car again. This time we're working on the sports car right here. I got myself this. It's one of them Maras de Maradas. And uh, see, this one's kind of a special one. I've, I've had it for quite some time, but and all, all kinds of stuff to it. Uh, but we've got this one issue where I was driving and uh, the, this has got one of the manual transmissions where you gotta shift the gears and you press your pedal on the clutch pedal and when you press your pedal on that clutch pedal it disengages the clutch from, keeps the motor from connecting to the transmission or something like that uh, anyways uh, I had this issue where I, I pressed my pedal and it wasn't disengaging the clutch so I, I found out I had a there's what they call a slave cylinder down at the bottom and it started leaking. They leak on this car after about, I don't know, eight or nine, ten years. It depends on how many times you drive it and all that. But anyways, it happens. So I put on a new one and it was working great. And then I noticed that all of a sudden I, the fluid that I put in this master cylinder, it started disappearing. It just started going away. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You see this thing right here? That's a master cylinder for clutch. So anyhow, what happened was that it kept going down and down and down. And I'd look underneath the car trying to see, I bet I got a leak on that new slave cylinder I put in. But it wasn't going anywhere. I can't find it nowhere. There was a drop under the car. So I just topped it off a little bit more and went for another drive. And it was gone again. Yeah. I was like, I, I don't know. I, so I parked the car and decided I'm just going to top it off and I'll look at it in the next thing in the morning. So I came out the next day and it was empty again. I hadn't even driven it overnight. It was gone. So I finally got into tearing into it. I was like, I got to figure this thing out. Then it dawned on me. Oh my goodness. What if it's that master cylinder that's doing all the leaking? And what if it's not leaking outside of the car, but leaking inside of the car? So. I think that's what happened. Let me show you what I had to do. I see right here I had to go pull out that carpet and it was shiny and messy and oh my goodness. I tell you what, that stuff when it gets on the paint it starts eating it up real bad like. And so it's made quite a mess. I'm trying to go get it all cleaned up and, and replacing parts and hopefully get this thing back in good order and hopefully I caught it before it became a big problem. So anyways, I just thought I'd pass that along to you. Have a good day.